enantiomers have essentially the same chemical and physical properties. Uh, one property in which they differ is that if I take a chiral molecule, one enantiomer of a chiral molecule, uh, and place it in a little like quartz transparent container called a cuvette, and shine plain polarized light, a light is electromagnetic wave, we can polarize it. So for instance, the electric magnetic oscillations are in one plane. Uh, it will actually rotate the plane of the electromagnetic light radiation going through. In this case, maybe we're showing the oscillation in the electric field. Um, so it can rotate it either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on the nature of the molecule. So we call this property optical activity. So let's look at an example of a molecule. Here is a molecular stereocenter R. We saw an example like this previously. We can draw the mirror image by putting a plane here and simply reversing the drawing of this, keeping everything essentially the same. This would have to be the S isomer now because it's the mirror image. Alternatively, we could do the same thing by simply copying and pasting this molecule over here and making this OH instead of being a wedge, being a dash. Uh, both of these two molecules that are the mirror images that are identical. I'd flip this over, it'd be superimposable on this. So this is one enantiomer, and this is the other enantiomer. Now, if I were to put this enantiomer in the cuvette we saw in the previous slide and shine plain polarized light through it, it might rotate light in the counterclockwise direction. The, we'll call that the minus direction as indicated by this meter, maybe a minus 20 degrees. Conversely, if we were to put the S isomer in the enantiomer into the cuvette, uh, we would see if that was present in the same concentration, uh, it would rotate light in the positive direction. So that's, again, the, this molecule demonstrates optical activity. Now, if, if we happen to have an equal combination of both of these in the cuvette, so an equal concentration, you would imagine that the, that the leftwise uh, counterclockwise rotation of the R isomer would be canceled by the positive clockwise rotation of the S isomer, and the net effect would be uh, no optical activity, no rotation observed. This is an example of what we call a racemic mixture, in which we have equal concentrations of these enantiomers, and it would not display optical activity. What if we had the same two uh, stereocenters only in one molecule, an example of a cyclic molecule shown here? Uh, this would be the R, this would be the S, it's just like it was before. And wait, this part is directly the mirror image of this, so that this is R, this must be S. So let's look at the optical rotation from this molecule, and if you think about it, uh, that from the optical rotation from the R stereocenter would rotate uh, the light uh, in the counterclockwise or minus direction as we saw before. Uh, but it would be counterbalanced by the optic rotation by the S isomer, uh, which would rotate light clockwise in the positive direction. Since these are part of the same molecule, the net effect would be would be the addition of these two, and there would be no net activity, so no rotation at all. So uh, this is a case. It's a meso molecule. Uh, this is a case in which the optic rotation is canceled, so there's no optical activity here because the sum of the minus and plus rotations would be zero. They have to be in equal concentrations because they're part of the same molecule. However, if we were to change the molecule around, so now you've changed this OH to a CH3, we retain in this particular case the RNS uh, chiral designations here. Again, this part of the molecule would rotate light, uh, let's say, in the counterclockwise direction, in, uh, minus 20 degrees, whereas this part of the molecule, let's say, it still rotates it, uh, light in the positive direction, but not as much as the OH, and, when, and then these are hypothetical rotations. So maybe plus 10. Now, because this is they're both part of the same molecule, if we add these together, we would have a net effect of minus 10. So this molecule would still display optical activity because the contributions from both sides don't cancel. They would cancel only if the molecule was a meso molecule.